establish if you were an A&R or you somebody putting a play together, let's establish that before. It's no bad deal. It's it's favorable deals. Like it's, it's deals that favor one side more than the other. You can say that's bad. You can say that's bad. But at that point, when you were willing because you was working at Burger King. Loot makers, like I would want more. Like, not to say you guys aren't valuable. Like if it's 25, 25, throw me an extra five for making it work. Like, Even though they signed a bad deal, and that's just something with their label or whatever. It's a or bad deal. I'm gonna put that in quotation. But the, the community, like, it gotta be set. It gotta be a standard. Like, like, nah, I'm not playing with that. Don't play with me on that. Don't. I'm not going for none of that shit. All that A and R weird shit. Y'all gonna come in on this shit? Establish if you were A and R or you somebody putting a play together. Let's establish that before, beforehand. Because when the song come about. And then you trying to tell me what you about to tell you. And then it's like, no, that's not what we're doing. You know right. what I'm saying? It makes everything weird for everybody. It's just being stern. And it's just, I'm, I'm the, I'm broadcasting being stern as a man, one. But then as a producer, just being stern, like, nah, 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 nah. I ain't right. That ain't right. And it's a weird be like, well, this nigga crazy. That ain't crazy. It's just, you know, I don't even think, I don't even call it bold. It's just making a new format. Oh, he's bold because he didn't take shit. Like, no, it's just. No. You're just being yourself. You're just being, yeah. I'm not trying to like, I don't even think about it like as break the mold or let's get the new producer way. If it creates a new way, it's creating a new way. I'm just, if the trailblaze that type of way, but I'm just not. It's just like, no, I'm not going for that. You're not getting that out of this song. You're not doing this. You're not telling me it is like, folks be coming to you, not even want to negotiate with you. Like, this is all right. a business. Like, like, man, yeah, I normally take this much, much before this. And it's like, man, it's not like you're telling me something. Like, you're not negotiating. It's, I didn't hear no negotiating point. Everything is negotiated. So I need y'all, everybody to know that, too. Like, all of my producers, like, everything is negotiated. Now, you could be reasonable within negotiating. You know, you know, if you make a Drake album, the budget is a Drake album budget. If you make an artist who just got signed, the, budget not the budget's not the same. So you can, you can... Negotiate within that, within within sense, but you know. So you put bad deal in quotation marks. Like, why? Why is that? Do you think artists like know what they're getting themselves into, so it's not really a bad deal? Yeah, coming from a person who signs people, it's like it's no bad deal. It's it's favorable deals. Like it's, it's deals that favor one side more than the other. You can say that's bad. You can say that's bad. But at that point, when you were willing, because you was working at Burger King. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, and this person put the money up. And so they get half of everything you do. Now, at the point when you was working at Burger King, it was worth it. You know what I'm saying? But then you get to a point where it's like, oh my God, I'm a really a fucking star. I'm a star. Like, you know, females start smelling you. You start smelling yourself. You know what I'm saying? You start getting the money. You start, you know what I'm saying? And you like, hold on, man. And, how is he getting as much as me? Right. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, and it's that, it's that blowback, but you got to eat that. Like, that's coming from a person who signed people. That's coming from a person who signed something before. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I put, like, bad deal. Cause it's like, man, you read that. If you ain't had time to read it and you just signed it, that's, that shows how much really you was down bad or fucked up or just wanted to get to where the point that you are now to say, you know, I'm in a bad deal. You know what I'm saying? So back to what you were saying on like the business side, how do you think like the breakdown should go when you co-produce with somebody? Um, it's it's it varies for me. For me personally, it's um most people would be like you know break it all down the middle, you know. But um, it's kind of like you can't really expect for them to be like. Like, let's just say you'd be a, being real about the situation. Like, hey, bro, like, I never really personally had a situation to where I've, I've co-produced with producers and, and got the records like that. Hence the situation I talked about earlier where the nigga went to go through the whole money shit by myself. Right. But let's say, like, I, I don't ever use loops. Let's, let's say, like, somebody who just makes loops and send them out. To where? Wait, you said you don't use loops. I never used it. Uh -huh. I play everything. Okay. I play everything out. 
get a lot more money that way too. Right. But um but um yeah, to where it's like somebody in Brazil or somebody in Europe, they just put this thing together and I added something to it. And it's like a piece of me would want more if I did I can't say I haven't been in this situation. I, I, I can't say this from experience, but a piece of me would want more, like just me, period. Like with loot makers, like I would want more. Like, not to say you guys aren't valuable, like if it's 25, 25, throw me an extra five for making it work. I don't know you from a campaign. Right. You know what I'm saying? And for me, I'm not a person who really depend on them. So I'm just thinking about how my mom work. If I got one, I damn sure would be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's your love. Like, it's been, I've been in situations before with people. I've known and I'm me and I was like, and you know, it was 25, 25 down the middle on that 50 percent percent side of the pub for the producers. I was like, bro, take that five. I appreciate that. This beat was in my computer, this loop or this thing was in my computer for four years. You know what I'm saying? Where everybody be trying to uh scratch and call their way to every dollar, every percent they can. Like sometimes you just gotta play your role. Yeah, like I'm me. Like I'm me. Big amount came out in 2016. 2022. I'm me. And the last song that I just signed a, a record for, I took a cut on because another producer and situation and situation making and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, right. And producer barely had anything. You know what I'm saying? But it's just, it's just, it's just, you know what I'm saying? It's just knowing how to navigate and giving up percentages to get different relationships and different things. Hold on real quick. Hey, twist it. What the hell? I'm in an interview, bro. That ass, you that ass twin in the middle of my interview? Nah, I called him before we started. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, we got twisted. Hold on, we got twisted. I'm going to call you, I'm going to call you, I'm going to call you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This dude like working with? Uh, Over the years, I've had, I can say, my most fun I like working with every artist you find a different, you know, but I like uh my boy Quavo, man. Like they always just make the vibe. Like we were in Houston, Miami, LA. They were in a they were in a fat ass crib. You know what I'm saying? I was chef called dude. Put the studio over there. It used to be a vibe. Jet skis pull up to the back of the house. It'd be a party. Yeah, niggas went fishing in the back of the house one time, you know what I'm saying? But it'd be like a but within the party, he, he always still had this focus. So, and you still getting worked on? Yeah, like, I, uh, put some beats up, put some beats, you know what I'm saying? Like, those 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 sessions over there with uh, my YRN game, I really like that. That's hard. It really be, it be it, it's, it's a lot of fun. It don't be like just, you know, pressure. You know you're going to get something to work. You just, just go hang, you know what I'm saying? Still really? going to enjoy yourself, don't like it. Yeah, whether you gambling on 2K or Dice or Madden or Pool or... Just talk, you know what I'm saying? Just be, you know, be like a family boy. You know, it's the homies type. And is that the vibe that you like when you, you know, cooking up? Uh, not everywhere. You know, you, you go where you get that vibe with who you get it with. But really anywhere, you know what I'm saying? Any situation I, I try to adapt to. I try to be a little chameleon, being in these different rooms, being able to match the energy. It really be my, match the energy in the room. It might be energy where I'm in there with Meg and she's just, you know, type of energy. You know, she want that a little turn, you know what I'm saying, ratchet music, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying, or he might be in there with Quay one day, he might just want to go deep, or one day you making beats, you might be with, uh, I might be in the, like, in the hood, or I might just be in, like, a situation with an upcoming artist, where, like, like, where you in the studio with a uh, Coach Nocha kid, or a uh, Honcho, and they just in there with their partners, 30 deep in the little studio, and they straps, you know what I'm saying, everybody smoked out, you know what I'm saying, so, we're just being able to feel every one of those vibes, like, you gotta go on that know how to be in a room. We can't go in the same room just being the same. You know what I'm saying? Especially as, as a producer. If you was an artist, let's per se, you could come in and as a producer, you should be able to sway a little bit just to be on the R and B charts and to be on, you know, the hip hop charts, stuff like that, pop charts, different things like that. So you're more of a like be in person at the studio cooking up versus like just sending packs from home? Um, uh, it's all varies nowadays because nowadays one thing I'm realizing these new artists, they really don't like the new generation of people is is they're less in front of me. Yeah, they're less in, they'll get their beats off of YouTube and go platinum. Like, 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was in the studio with a, a little TJ. And he was like, yo, I This was like, damn, my he done, how many certifications, gold and platinum he got? He was like, yo, I don't even really be in the studio with, like, producer. Like, it's like one of my first times. Like, this was like the other day, and he'd been on and getting records for a while. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? But he's just like, this to the younger generation, you know. They don't, it's like they don't even go outside. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They get on and play the, the PS5 and get in the headset like, and they go around with each other. It's more, so it's different things. It's different situations. Some artists you got to go touch. Some artists you can, they rather just be in their comfort zone or what they do. So it's all based on what the artists want. But either way, I'm a little chameleon. I'll, I'll adjust to get the, get, the, get the record. So what artists do you not like working with? <laughs> this is the deep breath. What artists I don't really like working with? Honestly, I'm gonna say this in the I'm not gonna I'm gonna give the most political say it's the most political way I can to where they know. The artists who play with um Like them bullshitting as an artist, like the artist where it's like your money. It, it's hard to really get to that. But it's like my motherfuckers who playing with my money, dog. That's don't what, know the business. And them motherfuckers that don't know the business. And and it's not always up to the artist to know the business if they have business behind them. But if you want to be an independent artist and have your own business and have your own company and you're running your own business like that, then you gotta know the business and you should do the business and you should pay the fifteen thousand dollars before you come ask for another song and by then promise another fifteen thousand dollars or signing off on another fifteen thousand dollars, which we still in court, not court, but in litigation and lawyers to try to figure all that stuff out now to pay fifteen thousand dollars, dog. Get it over with. <laughs> I just wanna be real specific. Right. So it's just like cause I don't like name, you know what I'm saying? I don't not, like, yeah, you don't want to be messy, but you just wanna be honest. Yeah, I wanna be real with that shit, like right? home, pay that fifteen. Come out for another one. He's talking about then got another record drop, but then we can't even drop it on DSPs because I'm not dropping it until you pay this other. Like, how you doing this other? And the other record came out a year ago. Like.